and we're back. Unfortunately, I denied you folks the rather prestigious event of gaining the Patches Squat. But let it be known, I have acquired it, and I will use this gesture, well, with good intent, or some, something like that, I don't know. Anyway, here's the shortcut. Our painting girl is gone, she's hanging back at the church where Freed is. Freed is probably seething, going, what the fuck was Vil Wilhelm doing? Why is she back here? <laughs> I meant to make this joke back when our Corbian mate asked if I was Ash. And I'm thinking I'm going to title that specific part Ash vs. the Painted World. I've never actually watched Evil Dead. I should one day. There's some good films out here. Yes, yeah, so that jackass is walking off. Alright, I haven't done this in a long time. There's a Millwood Chieftain down there. He's got a big ass axe. We got him. We got him, and there's at least one more. There's a few items to grab. Alright, let's do this. I've got the alluring skulls. I'm pretty damn sure they work on these guys. Oh wait, no, we gotta go around there. Fuck. Ugh, beautiful. Building up everything, and ugh. Man. Just all that, uh. Oh, it's getting ready. Getting ready. Getting the serpentine going. Alright, so... Here. How do we properly get down there? I fucking forget. We're meant to drop no matter what, so let's try to do it from the lowest point. That's all hurt. Yo, buddy. I hate the buns you like. Well, we didn't like that. I'll distract him for a tiny bit. Whoop. Almost launched. Part of the Lothric space program. So this one's unique. It's got the axe, which we are going to acquire right here. Slightly different look to him too. The Earth Seeker. Pretty neat. Not amazing, but pretty neat. Wish we could get that cloak. Looks sick. Oh, it's a rather generic thing, but, uh, cloth over armor always looks cool. What, there's that awesome artwork, um, yeah, there's one of Samus, um, wearing kind of cloth, um, what was it, some kind of cloth over armor, and even though I'm not, like, a huge Halo fan, that whole artwork and shot of Master Chief with the rags on him is pretty fucking sick. He was in a desert, right? Something like that? That, that, all, that kind of thing always looks fucking rad. I heartily approve. Alright, so there's something down here I'm not going to be able to do immediately. Mostly due, due to shenanigans. Um, involving not having the silver cat ring. I'd rather hold off for that. I mean, it's fantastic. So we're going to start spitting. Yo, spitting facts, spitting facts. I think that's all the, all the Pokemon YouTubers say nowadays. Maybe that's just Blunder and Joey. Sorry, Blundo and Jay. Getting the, getting the lore wrong. Beautiful. There's that one that's going to drop there. There's our friend here who's rather innocent, but he got to go. I don't know if the skulls work on the flies. We're going to find out. Doesn't appear it, unless it's just because they're distracted. Okay, there are a lot of them. That's the grab. Thankfully, we didn't get any. Kind of annoying. We'll test out another skull, perhaps. They're 400 a pop, so they're not that bad. From patches. What is he? What do you call it? I was just at the shop. I just did a run of um, Farron Keep, the Dark Wraith encounter, and killed two Elder Gru. Got plenty of souls as a consequence. It's easy to just murk everything at this point. There is a hidden... There's an illusory wall around here somewhere. I forget. It's back there. I just kind of want to be rid of these fucking flies. Alright. Yep. Roll. Beautiful. R1. R1. Perfect. 
I'm gonna move in a tiny bit. There we go. Oh, come on. And even if I was like, you know, plus 10, level 100, I'd be doing this rather methodically. Also, time for somewhat of a celebration in a sec. Because the play counter is almost at 20 hours. <laughs> um, in contrast, Amorn's hammer build I've got, um, which is up to Soul of Cinder, I believe, or at least the end of the archives, is only 8 hours. So, uh, there you go. <laughs> Normally I beat this game way faster. I think, does this trigger some more? Is this all Wilhelm's arm? And Wilhelm's arm. Which is right in that corner. Ah, oh, come on, you fucking flies. Bloody flies. Alright, well, this one's active, so let's test this. What happens if I do this, buddy? Yes, they do work. Doesn't help that much, though. Buzz, buzz. No, you don't. Yeah, stop spitting that shit. Maybe I will go try to do that one extra thing. I mean, this is taking no time at all. I can probably beat him. Uh, there's an invader, but it's down a bit of a drop. Would have rather had the silver cat ring from Mirafil first from helping Cirrus, but fuck it. Alright, beautiful. That should be all of them. We can... Uh, we'll hold on to that. We'll swap back to the whip, though. Alright, crank this, then a cutscene. Man, sure is subtle, having this same kind of device in a basement, um, in the painted world. I mean, nah, uh, like as far as homages go, it's not that bad. Statue move, move in the exact same way, though. I don't know about that. Is it a different statue? I can't remember. Was it, um... Was it a person with a child or whatever? Ah, it's so long. I haven't played DS1 properly for fucking ever. Um... I want to boot it up fairly recently, like the other month. Probably, like, late Feb, early March. I was in the painted world too. I, I just wasn't paying attention to the statue. I was paying attention to, you know, farming the phalanx. Ashes will be ever seeking fire. Right, now. Where is it? I feel really dumb. Is this it here? That's it. Crystal lizard right here. And there's another one down there. Got him. There you are. Yeah, the flies will follow you in here if you uh, don't take care of them. I would heartily recommend taking care of them. Alright, here's the fun part. I could fuck this up very easily. As you can see, it's incredibly easy to fuck this up. Let's learn. Ah, uh, you bounced. Hey, remember the, remember the Great Hollow? Wasn't that a grand old time back in the old days of Dark Souls 1? Yeah, it's the fucking best. Alright, I think this is a bit of a booby trap branch from memory. Yet yeah, can be at least. Alright, we have two more drops to make. That one, this one fucking sucks. I remember that much. Okay, at least we uh, can't be invaded here. Also can't get help. Oh no. Yep, okay, this is it. And then we just drop on this one. Yep. And then we have one more drop to make, which I will not die from. Take the plunge. You won't die. Because we're landing on the exact place you live the painted world. Yeah. Sad. 
That's a boss arena down there. Um, if we progress any further, we will trigger a, uh, well, a mail maker, like myself. In the meantime, the pyromancer's parting flame. The flame of livid pyromancer Dunnell that attracts the echoes of death. When Dunnell lost his hideous spouse, he gave his own pyromancy flame as an offering, which transformed him into a, which transformed into a parting flame. Not him. I was thinking of something different there. Not long after, Dunnell became a mad spirit, damned to wander the lands. The skill is parting flame, and it releases a store of death echoes gain to gain a modest dose of Estus. So yeah, it restores a bit of Estus. Pretty handy. Alright, so Donald's left ahead. He's a pyromancer using... Um, yes, it's a Chaos Blade and Floating Chaos. A neat pyromancy that I don't think is that amazing, but still. I don't know if Alluring Skulls work on him, but we're going to try. That said, he's wearing Cornix's shit. And we can track from here to Timbuktu. And we can poise through him. And his bullshit. He will hurt us. If given a chance. I believe he's got a few Chaos Pyromancies too, so I gotta be... Yeah, there we go. Chaos Fireball. He's trying to do it. The Gru spell. Yeah, Chaos Flame will fuck us up hardcore. I would rather not be burned alive right now. Actually, let's see. Does this work? Doesn't, doesn't appear so. He has some form of combustion. <gasps> oh! Donnell, you beast! No gesture. Lame. And we're back. Donald's one of those rare invaders that'll actually show up in spite of not being in, but I... Yeah, I'm damn sure. I know that's correct. Gotcha! I should take off the slumbering dragon crest ring for something else, but... Uh-huh. Yeah? What else you got? Do tell. Almost. Gotcha. My thanks, comrade. But unfortunately, as a pyromancer... Well, sorry. What am I saying? Unfortunately, as... Um, no special, <laughs> no joy. <laughs> uh, you guys are good. I like this. No charmer. All right. Um, unfortunately, because he's mail maker, uh, no seed, and surprisingly no vertebra shackle, which kind of sucks. All right, got a few things to read. Not a lot, to be honest. Thankfully, floating chaos. Pyromancer Donald was fascinated by the ceremonial art, by the used employed by the clerics of the smoldering lake. Summons a fire-spitting chaos orb. Chaos burns away in the blink of an eye, but was the but was the primordial life force born in the bed of chaos, and a grievous symbol of Isolith's sin. In the meantime, and to show this off, um, okay, we were sorted by wait, cool. Um, Philhelm said, I mean, you saw it on the man himself, but yeah, also yeah, people love this for reasons. They'd probably be wearing it if they were using the whip like I am. Alright, Philhelm set. Pretty good overall. Terrible lightning defense. Mediocre magic defense. Pretty alright. Um, let's have a look. The Black Helm of Wilhelm. Knight of Londor. And a nice fit for any lean hollow. Who has an incredibly tiny head. This hollow knight. Eh, who served the three sisters who founded the Sable Church. Was particularly loyal to the eldest. And was known as a cold-blooded hangman. Oh, my bad. Cold-blooded hangman. 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 I love playing hangman at school. That was a fun game. As in, you know, when you have the letters on the board, you try to... You try to guess a word. Not actually hanging kids. Woof, that'd, that'd be kind of rough. Anyway, um, that's everything we can do now. Except for, uh, well, fighting Freed. Oh, wait, what am I saying? We could do the bit down the bottom. Fuck it. Yeah, sure, we'll go for it. Um, Freed's just kind of hanging in place, by the way. Just chilling. 
Not like as in being hung. Hanged, I should say. Yes, hanged. Yeah, that's a... I'm not confusing that, I'm sure. Anyway, besides the point. Hey girl, what do you think of me wearing your... Your boyfriend's armor. Be forewarned, eager Ash. Should this world wither and rot, even then would Ariandel remain our home. Leave us be, Ashen One. Sweep all thought of us from thy mind, as thy kind always have. Leave us, sweep all. Aha! Uh -huh. And if I walk forward, I'll trigger a boss fight. What stalks thine ears? Please, my flail, right away. Yeah, we uh, kind of need to uh, kill them to get the flail. Right, let's uh, let's fix up my armor. Um, actually, let's look kind of snazzy. Where is it? Flight wait till it should be there. Don't have the boots, unfortunately. Well, the chest piece is snazzy. The rest is kind of... The head is kind of dumb looking. Alright. Pairs nicely with all the stuff. Not really that. I mean, you can make it work. I guess it'll work in, like, all the Gerudo Desert, I guess. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Yeah. Put on some winter best. Some chunky legging. Uh, no. Cathedral Knight. Yep, that looks good. And some nice thick arms. There we go. How's that? Decent poise. Pretty good stats all around. I don't know how true it is, but I remember quite some time ago reading that realistically you want your arm um, defenses. That was weird. I only hit it twice. Um, you want your defenses to be around 20%. Uh, sorry. Yeah, 20. Why well, am I saying percent? Not percentages. Um, and they're going much over. doesn't really give you much. You might as well have as well-rounded defenses as you can. Alright, so this is the bridge here. You've probably seen it featured in many invasion videos. That's a good one. Let's give it a sec. Nice. There we go. Just gotta give it a sec. There's a certain point where you can survive um, with the Silver Cat, but it's kind of rough and I would not recommend it. I haven't tested it myself, and frankly, I don't want to know. It's a market I can do without. Alright, we got one of you. Yep. Wake up, Jeff. Everybody's wiggling. Eh. Eh. I don't know if that counts as some kind of weird anti-humor or meta-humor, but, <laughs> but that was pretty fun to do, admittedly. Alright, um, there is a way to get back up. It's, yeah, along there, I'm pretty sure. Is this it? Oh, it's been so fucking long. You yeah, know, that's not right. How do you do it? There's this branch, but kind of leads to a dead end. And yeah, sorry about the PS4. I can't do anything about it. It's just like that now. Kind of sucks. There is a Titanite Lizard hanging around there, I believe. But there is a Millwood Knight. A Millwood Sniper, rather. Sniping is a good job, mate. Aha! Interesting game plan, my friend. Mukashaka Paka, no man's soul. 
make a big on it for photo. Alright, this lizard survives the fall. Take the plunge, he won't die. What a shit. Swing first. Okay, no he didn't. He died. Hardcore. You good, buddy? Get it all out of your system. Don't think Millwood buddy can snipe us from here to say, but... Yep, branch is just in the way. Perfect. You can probably get us with this item is, though. Nope, okay. Awesome. Alright, pretty sure that guy with the torch he is guarding a weapon we would like to get. There is a way to get up to him, but uh, I don't know if I'm bothering that much. Okay, this is the uh, this is the this is the part I gotta worry about. Yep. Okay, we're just gonna fall. Fuck this. Oh. Okay, no, the weapon's up high. Gotta be careful here. Didn't drop anything. Perfect. Hey, buddy. I hate the banjo. You like? Ugh. Fuck off. <laughs> I like making it more than Metallica. How does that make you feel? We can talk this over. There's Lizard Kun. Yeah, beware of the fucking crabs. This is crab apple. Trio ahead. Crab. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh fucking. Get out of my backstab, will you? That's why I kind of have trouble backstabbing the Black Knight sometimes. They get very twisty. Not necessarily. Well. It shouldn't be hard to backstab him, but that's in theory. Sometimes on paper they're a little dodgy. Okay, what am I worrying about? That's an arrow that's been there for a bit. Hey, fuck you. Come on. Gotcha. You bastard. I can farm this guy at least. There we go. Alright. So there's the item up there. Way to fall, huh? Some days you go through the rain. Some days you feed on a tree frog. This isn't even a ladder. But I feel like referencing Snake Eater. It's a thrill for trial to survive. Um, I, uh, I don't remember the last part of that. But I would give my life, not for honor, but for you. Follow a saber. Is that what y'all kids like? The sabers in your fates? In whatever the hell? I don't know. Is fate still hip or is that their Genshin shit? I'm, I'm being sarcastic there. I, I ain't got much of an opinion on Genshin other than the boycott of... Boycotting means you don't have to stop play. You have to stop playing. Even though that's inherently what a boycott should entail, but... Eh. Anyway, besides the point. Alright, I forget how the fuck to get up to you, buddy. I get the impression we can't now. You can probably still hit us, so I'm gonna... Yep. I fucking knew it. What the hell is that? Alright, um... Yeah. I think we gotta pull some shenanigans with that, but I could be wrong. We're gonna heal up. This armor does look rather spiffy, actually. I like this combo. Neat. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so we drop here. Don't die. Buns from the plank and hurry home. Hey, buddy. Hey, Captain Quakestone. Yeah? Oh, that's adorable. You think you can follow me, huh? I mean, you can. <laughs> Never doubted you, man, but, uh... I 
Okay, yeah. Alright. I'm pretty confident this will work out. Swing first. Bitch. <laughs> got him. Ah, oh, I just got outsmart him. Yeah, what happens here? I feel like this is a troll, right? Okay, no, you do land here. Yeah. Should have done that first to take out Millwood Chan. Alright, let's hope his item fell somewhere I can actually pick it up. Ah, oh, damn, I was hoping I could land on that. He fell a long way, though. So what, he fell? Oh, fucking... Oh, slope. <laughs> yeah, I ain't getting that. Alright, now we got the, uh, the other end to explore. At least to the boss, we gotta deal with some crabs. Okay, so I'm just gonna fucking... Go down. It's probably gonna take me back to the chapel, but this is a lot faster, given I don't have the Silver Cat Express on me. We can't exactly fall down the pit and get to the gutter. Um, I mean, probably, you know, in DS2... Yeah, in DS2 I'd probably have enough in the way of decks and um, vitality and vigor to make it, but... And we have enough for a level. It's fantastic. 54 going into Irifil. Sounds pretty good. Oh, by the way, these crabs are fucked. Unless you really want magic gems and can't be fucked with farming outside Crystal Sage. Um... Well, you can try these. Wouldn't recommend it. Aha. Uh -huh. Homewood bones. Try guts and then... Oh, what? This tree was obviously alive. Is alive. The one that has a lot of health. Yeah, that crab sucks. Don't get caught by that. Gotcha. Ah, look at all these trees that are obviously going to be alive. I fucking hate that attack so much. I can maybe try to fight one of the crabs as a bit of a joke, but I really don't fucking want to. That's cute. I thought I didn't know it was alive. Right. I have to try to farm the follower boots in between and get some more shards. All right. Now I know there were um there was stuff in the files of this game about um one particular unused NPC crying for the child. Could it be in relation to Sullivan? I don't know. People think it was this tree in particular, the one that goes super fucking nuts. I swear that's a Bloodborne moveset. It's in Osaurus' fucking position. Actually, now I think about it. Right, so that's that. And killing that will lower a ladder for us. Now we are officially in a dream. Snake Eater. Da -na 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 -na. Alright, come on, crap. Let's show the folks at home how tough you guys are. Yep. And frostbite instead. Yeah, I was gonna go for it this time. What's the worst that happens? You guys kill me? This close to a bonfire? Okay, come on. I'm gonna get greedy one day. Yeah, don't get caught by that. Give a second to regen some stamina. From memory, I think one of the crabs respawns, which is kind of fucked. You can't just give Twinkling Type 9, I forget. They give a decent amount of soul, so. Alright, well, that's enough of that. I could take them all out, but there's no point, really. No need extending this any further. We'll probably just waltz on down and have a look at the boss arena I'm not walking into yet. I could probably beat it, but I'd rather do it later. Oh uh, yeah, what a thrill, um, by the way. 
I'd like to use the music, but it's probably going to get hit by a fucking claim. Uh, such as YouTube, huh? Fucking Resident Evil 3, the last one, and only the last one, got claimed for the fucking credits music. Or at least it was a copyright infringement. You know, not like fair use is a thing. Um, hmm. <sighs> at least it won't be that fucking Bloodborne video. But, but actually, did it get claimed? I don't remember. The one um, where it's like, when you get that last vermin, and I use the Metal Gear Solid music, and they claimed it for two when it's from MGS three. But I'm assuming that's just part of the thing from two. But even then, fucking come on, can't even claim it for the right thing. Get good. Let the voice of love take you higher. So, yeah. To plus three. Titanite shards are fragments of the legendary slabs. Titanite is etched into weapons to reinforce. They're fragments of legendary slabs as well. Few records of chunks exist, even though they're pretty fucking common. And one... And once was... And once one was discovered in Lufferick, the race to, ro to locate legendary slabs began. But they have been... No reports of success. And there's also this stuff. Twinkling Titanite. Uh-huh. The Lizards, which is clearly meant to be Demon Titanite. This is one of the more subtle nods that I like. Titanite slabs are smithing materials of the gods, and weapons reinforced with slabs will be admired no less than their precious legendary weapons. Yep. Once said to belong to gods. Become as gods. You coming down? Oh. Get fucked. Man, if only we could take the scenic route. <laughs> the fast way. I mean, we could, but I like the souls. Yeah, look, I'm not expecting Elden... This is kind of out of the blue. I'm not expecting Elden Ring to have a fucking grapple mechanic. <clears throat> a souls game with fucking Sekiro mobility would be... Probably a bit too nuts, but I'm hoping some of the tra uh, traversal mechanics ex exist. I'd kind of get it if it was like, oh, you're a heavy build, you can't clamber up stuff properly. That'd be fine, but I hope there's some kind of traversal in there. You right there, buddy? Oh. Someone's taking a crack. Good luck required ahead. Ally required ahead. Alright, so there's some loser down there. <laughs> I'll be nice. There's some warrior down there. He uh, brings in his giant wolf friend who have already fucked up twice. Um, I can't remember if that makes the fight easier. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. It just gives us a chance to get some, um, well, light shards. Are we going to get a single level? And we can't even... Oh, wait, yeah, we can. What am I saying? Of course we can get up here. Can you fuck off, mate? Thank you. Take, bring you down to my level. My distance. Still more engaging than God of War 2018, huh? A game I'll probably never bother playing as good as it is. Because I just really don't care about God of War. Ow, fuck you. Oh, setting up a Wombo combo. Happy feet. That ain't Falco. Alright, beautiful. Alright, maybe that'll be enough for two levels. I hope so. Should be hypothetically. We're gonna be level 55 for Irifil. Alright, well, that's the painted world done for. Um, for the meantime, at least. Two bosses to come and take care of. If I, if I could get to Ring City, I'd very much do the same thing, but two options to do that. Um, beat Lothric and Lorien, which entails beating all the other Lords of Cinder, because the key only appears uh, when you've killed Yorm, Abyss Watchers, and Aldrich. Or, beat Freed. I'd rather beat the Lords of Cinder. <laughs> 
to be completely honest. Are you fucking kidding me? One point, three points. Look, damage is pretty good. I just like some more health. We'd, we've got a fucking Flanbush. And the fact I won that invasion without using it kind of... Yeah, you know, kind of demonstrates I'm not relying on this too much. But man, it's fucking bland for a shotgun lucky as hell. I'll oh, speak in luck. I got one of these. I can trade it for something in a little bit. Actually, let's check. Um, yes, we have enough. Just. Buy five souls. How about that? Wait. Yes, buy five souls. You yeah, had a feeling we'd be cutting it a little closer with the levels. With the amount of souls, but still. I right, thank you. Uh, we could give it a firekeeper soul, but we'll hold off. Farewell, we'll save that for like end game for extra yeah. dialogue. All right, any key items to worry about? The answer's no. Nothing else to worry about here. Oh yeah, Earthseeker. I never looked at it. On the Quakestone. Sorry, last thing. Almost done. This twin, this large twin-bladed battle axe, forged with bronze, is a ceremonial weapon normally used in sacred rites. Middlewood is a land of primitive Earth's worshippers, where chieftain knights are served as priests. I'm adding some words to there because reasons. Uh, Earthen Wrath. Thrust weapons into Earth with a prayer to trigger explosive tremors. You saw how that shit goes. 15 faith. Um, 24 strength. Can't be buffed. Kind of. That's the problem. Apparently its range is among the highest... I don't know if it's longer than Yorm's Great Machete, but it's pretty alright, all things considered. Quakestone Hammer. Oh, it is heavier too. That kind of sucks. And yeah, 40. <laughs> this thing's fucking big. A stone hammer wielded by Millwood Knights with a head of naturally formed stone. The Knights of Millwood would fight hand in hand with the earth itself, and this weapon, among the oldest in all Millwood, is symbolic of that relationship. Burrow the Hammer Head into the ground with a great slam and use the strong attack to upheave earth creating a shockwave that rumbles like a mighty war cry i know there's the whole thing of um chester and dark souls one was alluding to bloodborne where i mean we can you know assert that was probably the case and yamamura was hinting towards sekiro maybe the millwood knights are hinting towards elden ring i don't know that's just a random guess. Random stab in the dark. But before we leave, in next episode we'll finally be able to do shit with Ludliff. You just hang there, Leonhard, you fucking edge lord. God, tonight's been full of you wankers. <laughs> uh, let's just have a chat to our friend. No. Oh, hello again. Welcome to Patches Boutique of Wonders. Can't resist it, can you? My sumptuous selection. Sumptuous selection. Ah, I see you've made a step. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> Can't find anything, are you? Yeah, the sumptuous selection. I can imagine Angelie Harriet saying that. Right, I did get a few poison arrows off him. We get some guaranteed from profane capital, but I figured why not? Got souls to spend. Alright, I'm gonna farm up some shit in the meantime. Uh this has been long. This has been almost three hours of the fucking painted world. But at least we're gonna walk into Iraville. And shank some fuckers. Big time. Alright, I'll see what else I can farm up in terms of large yards. See what else I can upgrade for variety's sake. But, I've got this and this. Old reliables. So, in the meantime. My thanks. I bid you adieu. If we die once, we go back to hollow. Press is on. Catch you later. What a thrill. With darkness and silence through the night What a thrill 
I'm searching and I'll melt into you. What a fear in my heart But you're so supreme